What's up everybody? Russ with RWG Research. This is a really quick update. There's lots of people talking about this uh, perpetual motion holder. Um, I want to bring up just a few points and then there will be more information later. But do one thing for me. Um, do a little bit of your own research on this and don't leave like a thousand comments on questions because a lot of this information is already out there. You just have to find it. Um, you can ask me questions, that's fine. But a lot of it, there's like 80 people asking the same question. Um, and that's fine, but uh, do some research. Anyway, um, perpetual motion holder. Um, there's a couple things I want to share with you really quickly. Um, there's been questions asked. Um, somebody mentioned that this is called the keeper, and it keeps the magnetic field inside here. And that's true. Ed calls it things. That's why I say read the book for yourself, magnetic current. Um, some people ask me if you can use just one coil. Uh, yeah, you can, um, but it calls for two and it works better with two. Um, some people ask me if one needs to be wrapped the opposite direction as the other. Go look in Ed's book for exactly the correct information. You can just flip a coil and the polarity is now opposite, or you can flip the voltage and the polarity is now opposite. <clears throat> Stan also talks about, or Stan, Ed also talks about connecting these okay, together like this, and I have them connected together in series instead of parallel, opposing parallel. So lots of different things there. One thing I will tell you is that um, this is not an over-unity device. Some people are all pretty psyched about that. Um, you cannot get any more out of this than you put into it. And uh, from what I understand, back EMF is like 10 times the applied potential, potential you get out. So if you put in 10, you get 100 volts out for back EMF. Um, and this is kind of the opposite. This is, if you charge this, um, you'll get like 60% out. So if you put in like 100, you get like 60 or something like that. So it, you do not get more out than in. But the principles behind this are really cool. A um, few people said, hey, this is nothing new. And you're right, it isn't anything new. Um, this stuff's been around for a very, 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 very long time. But what this is supposed to do is show you some things about magnetism that you may not know. And this is just one of the, like, 24 experiments in Ed's book. Ed just tries to give you a little information and says, hey, try these experiments out and then see for yourself what you think. So this is just an experiment. Now, there is one experiment. I don't know if I've ever showed this to anybody, and mainly because I uh, was working with a gentleman when I did this one, like, two years ago, and he asked me to try this, so I did. I don't know if I ever took pictures or anything of this thing. But uh, this is a perpetual motion holder that I... Oh, look at that. Uh, there we go, that I tried to make an over-unity device, if you will. <clears throat> and basically, if you charge this, or energize it with two coils on here, it will hold on there just fine. And then if you wrap a coil around the uh, toroid here, and you energize it, it will break this and energize the other. So actually, I know I've got a ring around here somewhere. Let me see if I've got it. Stand by. Uh, I don't see it. Oh yeah, I do. There it is. All right. So a while back, I actually created this ring. All right, to try this theory out. And basically, you can create a ring, put a coil on there, and this is broken right here. But you can get that to stick together just like the PMH would, and hold a magnetic charge inside this toroid, um, and then put one of these donut rings in place like this and whenever you'd energize this it would break the magnetic flux field going around this way so you could have a closed loop piece of iron with a with a loop like this in it and you could charge the circle here and then and then apply a little voltage here and then it would break the current you would see your flash on your light and everything it doesn't work um, so that's a that's a different uh, different style PMH that that one of my buddies said to give a shot try that out and uh, see if we could create this thing non-moving parts and make it work so if you're going to try something like that or you're thinking about how to make a way to break and make the connection that's how you would do it there's probably other ways but that's that's a non-mechanical this is a solid state way of doing it okay um, the next thing I'd like to do is I've got my grease galactic gauze wand here I do not have a compass but I do have this and I made it a while back and I've got test leads hanging out of the back of it and hooked up to a, a meter. 
basically the way this works is if you have a magnet like this you can test polarities all right this magnet is polarized in you know, this fashion all right and then on my meter here if you watch my meter and you move the magnet across it man I got bad reflections the the voltage changes okay so instead of a compass I have this and then I can test these bars out and I need a better way of doing this hold on I'm not editing this footage so sorry don't have the time today there we go so should be able to see that here's just one of the uh, actually let's use the one I had this long one on there this is the one that's been on there for two years and you can see it's uh, 6.8 the lights on here don't light up because it's such a small amount but you can still check it 6.065 we'll flip it over you can't see it 6.083 so this has a little bit of you know it's iron so it's going to store a little bit of a charge but it's a tiny bit uh, let's check this 5.943 on one side alright so this is also polarized now but what I will tell you is that I can take this thing oh. alright I'm back my wife turned my lights off on me alright so I'm gonna take this battery and neutralize this Okay, now this should be neutralized. So I got 6.123. Let's try it with a little bit lower voltage. This battery's dead, more dead. 6.44, and well, it's still wanting to hold charge. <laughs> well, you can't neutralize it, I promise. Anyway, when you neutralize it, all right, and then we energize it with this bar on there. All right, I'm going to hopefully you can see where I'm doing this at. Get my cables all untied here. So I'm just going to go around here and check. Alright. So as soon as I get past that and onto the other bar, no real change. Alright, let's try the other side. Little bit of a change, but it's so, that's so little that if this was a magnetized bar, if this was a permanently magnetized bar you would be seeing a much greater potential so what end states is happening is that there's actually a magnetic current you can see that this bar is slightly magnetized but that's just because I've been playing with it but if you get a compass and you check everywhere around here you will find out that there's not much difference of a field going on here it's a, it's a very interesting thing it's, it's internal it's an internal thing okay so quick little test of that try to get, get some explanations out to you um, some, some people were talking about these coils being energized permanently well here they're disconnected altogether and this will this will still still stay on here so that tells me that these coils aren't doing anything and they're not after you energize them you could unwrap the coils and this bar would still stay on here okay so I don't want to make this video too long and like I said I'll be doing more experiments with this but I just wanted to try to answer some questions okay um, magnetic current if you go look for the book actually find the PDF document. I don't know if I have it on online somewhere. I'll try to get that up for you and I'll put it in the description of the videos, but uh, 
don't get the text document that's online get the actual PDF that's a copy of the actual book because if you if you don't you won't it doesn't make any sense it's got stuff worded and written correctly in weird and odd ways and stuff so you don't want the English text version other than that I'm trying to keep this short and sweet for you guys and I hope you have a good day I'll talk to you soon and uh, more to come see you guys thanks